Hello, this is apparently, and this is late. Uh, also, just a heads up, it, well, here, a lot of things have happened. Well, maybe a lot of, not a lot of things, but just personal things that have prevented me from really working on this and working on the, the next main project. Uh, so as a heads up, that's not coming out for probably longer than intended. Uh, it would have been like a month from the, the Metro project. Uh, now it'll definitely not be that just because it's a lot of things that happened. Fell down the stairs, uh, recovered from that. Then I had some issues uh, regarding my like pelvic muscles for a bit. That just was very painful. Uh, that, then that took forever or it took a couple of days. Uh, then I was just really exhausted for a while um, from, I think, work and just... Uh, some levels of stress. It's just kind of hard to put in the time to really do anything. And then I had another editing thing I needed to do. Uh, and it just kind of like put everything on hold for a while. But uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do this at least. Uh, this will be shorter, most likely, overall. But I think this will be interesting. So I think everybody's seen this. This is the, you know, the. Samus Escape series. Uh, this footage I'm playing doesn't have my voice in it. And it also doesn't really have audio. I mean, we've all seen the, the, the main reason I wanted to show this was because it has like the, you have the full footage. Countdown, everything that's in the actual video itself. Uh, and that's really all I wanted to show from there. Uh, the main thing I was going to be looking at is the actual, how I did it. So, uh, the the actual footage which I edited later was the the, the timer it cuts out a couple of bits of this because you'll see when it transitions that's obviously not in the the actual one um it has, it's like a lot of these like transitions are obviously cut um so you don't have this and you don't have all oh, this this is black you don't have whatever this is which I'll show you that in a second. Uh, so those those don't happen, but this is the kind of the main base file I was using, or at least for for that eventual edited clip. So how did we get here? Uh, and that's a really good question. But one of the things to notice is, uh, and I might come back to this later, was you have uh, the orientation stuff again, similar to the uh, for the fights, boss fights I had, where you change the low, like the level three D, like what comes in. Here it's like this is you know this left side comes in a lot more right side goes out and it starts to shift as Samus runs across. Uh, there's also this bit. We'll we'll get to this bit in particular in a little bit. You'll see that there's a lot of there's a lot of keyframes here. Um, and then this is the thing where it changes the perspective. Uh, it's very nice. And then you know a lot of basic stuff change your position you might be wondering why this shows up and um, we'll get to that in a second because it looks weird and it's kind of it so main file uh and then we can look at uh, this first so the first thing i did was i pretty much had like everything together as like one run through so i record this is this is the footage this is kind of the size it's at Kind of naturally, so we just had this like run through, no movement. It's the basic size of the footage, and it just goes in like that, and it per perfectly done. Uh, there's no no nothing here in terms of like positioning edits. I don't know what test was. It doesn't matter. Uh, and then we get to the actual like all of these things start to get together a bit more. So. The move these. So, null is kind of like it's gonna pull the null is fine because pretty much I can parent it, and everything kind of follows the null. So if I did like you know if I change position like this, everything follows that null. Like everything I click here would follow that. Oh, obviously, I don't want to do that. Um, yeah. Um, but it is for the same file. So obviously we have the main footage here. 
and it's exactly what you've seen before in pretty much the exact same place. Um, the main thing here is where we, we have these. Now, I do not remember which one of these was. Did I, did I not have one of these on? Shit, I hope I did. Uh, let's see where I can start. Let's so start here. So in order to get the color right, because uh, let's see. So there'll be a transparent map. Is it here? Yeah. So here's, here's the map first. The first issue was trying to figure out, okay, well, I have the sprite sheets, right? And we're using the sprite sheets in order to make this seem a lot larger. So if I was going to go back to look at this, for example, you can see you know, the color is not there anymore. It looks janky. And that could affect everything. So I wanted to make it seem a lot bigger than it was because I needed to be able to have that like, kind of room footage-wise. Yeah. Um, now you can obviously see that the color's not right. Uh, it, it it lacks the same red. Uh, and luckily, I think there's another sprite sheet folder that gave me the, the background, like the base color for this kind of section where it changes uh, once the time starts. I need to escape. Uh, and that color is here. And so now, you know, the color down here is perfectly fine. So everything's mostly, edited. I mean, there's like a slight differences in certain contexts here. And there's like certain color differences you might be able to see. Um, but overall, this was, you know, kind of the best I could do in this circumstance. Uh, especially because I think the main reason it has that slight difference is because I have a scanline filter over everything I record in this particular emulator because it's just like I, I I like that and it makes it the the pixels kind of be more concrete and less blurry, which is nice. Um, and so you'll have this here, and it'll go that. And this is important for everything. Um, and then let's see what this add. This this adds. I don't know what this adds. Maybe the, I mean, it, it seems in the background, I think. Oh, it's because I need an, another one uh, because we're going to get to the, the background pipes, right? And you'll notice that the, the color is being affected by uh, this. So now it's, it's kind of normal color, uh, but you, you lose out the coloration of like the, the, the more foreground background, the, the front words background, we'll say. Rather than the, the further back background, which is fine here, but it doesn't have the same color. So how do you do that? Because now it's pink. Uh, well, what I did was you can use this and you subtract uh, the coloration from this area. So now it looks functional. Mostly, I mean, there's like certain like edits you can sort of see, but luckily it moves fast enough where it's just you're not gonna like pick it up there. Unless you're like scrutinizing it like I am. Like in this context, this video. And you also have pipe rooms there in the back. So it moves over, uh, I think, like here. Maybe we'll still have it. Um, And then lab background. I think, so the main thing is, I think everything is moving. See? So the, so the whole thing itself is just moving. As well, and like Samus is kind of like stayed front and center, so this disappears. This is a black screen. This kind of sets it up, um, and it's kind of shifted. Uh, over here, we pretty much are following Samus the whole way through, and I'm actively moving the sprites in order to f fit with um this the main footage. Here's the lab background. Um, and there's this. This will be for the, the this, this this one here. Um, you can just turn all these back on because you're kind of aware of it now. So it's actively moving. I had to work really hard on getting. I think this one. That's the other one. Yeah, I think it's, it's it might not be this one. 
it might be it's one of these i think it's this one where i've just had to constantly try to match up everything to the main footage because it because it, it shakes and the screen is shaking at the same time so it's hard to get everything to match up properly and you'll you'll get to see that in the once we look over this the the very lab section which is you know the, that that shot which is really nice uh and he moves the night nice, samus moves forward and then there's like i think i gave up on trying to get it to work on this one because it's just too much so i think we mostly just use the main footage uh and then there's this where we have it go like it starts up here and then it goes down real quick before we get the samus and then it goes on the main footage again and that's it um i think the this part and uh it's pretty self-explanatory we already went over that these are mostly self-explanatory where it uses the kind of the main footage primarily in order to kind of show those more visual like visually enhance uh the escape um and it pretty much uses just the main footage because it's just it's i think at that point i was and you'll see why because there's there, the lab section is what killed me for that and it's just so brutal um so i just focused on the main footage all right but for the lab section oof, the lab so it's like right around here this was brutal this was so incredibly brutal Oh my gosh. Like you, you can already see that it's like th there's pretty much this whole section. Uh because we were trying to get it to you know match up. So like here, so this I think this first frame. Uh and then the goal was to have it pretty much I think this is where it really starts, where it's like the it stays still as you know as much as it can with shaky uh it's where it's supposed to shake. And Samus kind of walks over, but it stays mostly the same. Uh, the background moves a little bit as well. Cause, and this, I cut it here. Samus is moving across the screen. The lab stays exactly the same. Uh, on here, it does the exact same thing. It's just normal, but... So luckily, we have the full thing here. And it's, like, very helpful. So Samus moves across the screen like normal uh, and it, it's matched up with the, the sprite sheet a bit. So it looks like, if you look at it from here, it's like, oh, this is, you know, just running across and we're watching Samus um, in a much more What's the point? From a much more like further back view compared to the game where it'd be like much closer. It'd be that box that I'm showing you. But so we we're, we're pretty much watching this Samus go across. So that that's the main thing we needed. We definitely needed that. Um you definitely need that. And you had to figure out we had to figure out how to get this to stabilize. Um let me see the lab background. I think there's definitely some of it here is actively moving it well mostly here is where it's just moving alongside with samus yeah uh because it's the background because if we watch this we have the main footage there but we need the other one because there's there's multiple and then it goes with samus yeah so how do we do this? Well, um, it was not pretty. It was brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. So we have a shot here. Now, obviously, I'm showing it in regards without the background, so you can see what's not the main footage. Make it easier. And I pretty much, in order to get the shakiness down, uh, and accurately have everything st as stable as possible. So Samus, you see Samus moving here. You see this stays exactly the same. This main footage, all exactly the same. 
and it's all shaking like uh, pretty much alongside the footage to make it seem like it's not really even that different even though obviously it is looking at this perspective uh, and i pretty much in order to get the shakiness to stay consistent i went uh frame by frame and you'll see this number right here this one frame by frame as i move through each keyframe all matched up as much as possible as samus runs across all the lab stays stable itself this is not normal footage at all because normally we would follow samus in its entirety rather than allow samus to just kind of move across the screen independently from us and this is pretty much where yeah this is where the main footage ends because i could stop doing it at that point because it's just the footage the moment samus leaves off screen just this is out all over the place. So this is pretty much where that ends. Um, yeah, it's just Samus running, lab stable, frame by frame, and then eventually collapses on itself and does weird stuff and changes positions, which we just cut to in the actual footage because it was easier and it made it much more sense to be like, oh, this area, this area, this area, and the time is like cutting down, you know, a little, you know, bit by bit by bit by bit. You know, depending on where the area, so we can match up the time, uh, to where the explosion happens around like the one second mark. But we get to start at the one minute. Which I think is a nice touch. I, I like that we did it that way. Uh, and it's just brutal work. I think uh, I took a lot. Yeah, it's it's brutal work to try, to, but it looks great in actual the actual footage. So I'm really proud of it. Uh, I'm proud of a lot of the visual stuff here. Um. It just looks great in the actual, I think so, which is good. Um, and that's really it. That's, I think it's really all I have. It was just mostly, I just wanted to do the behind the scenes of this segment, kind of show, you know, what it looks like out of, you know, the in context video, you know, when all the stuff I had to do for it to match up the sprite sheets and the actual footage together. The, the, extremely tedious work of being frame by frame by frame by frame i mean i think there might be a better way in, in certain aspects like uh we talked about a little bit in the last stream that there might be one way to do it but i think this is the most authentic one and i think i, I am i am definitely proud of it overall uh but aside from that uh i think that that's really it thank you for watching and I will I'll do my best to eventually get back to work on the next project, which I think is going to be really interesting. Uh, although I feel like the writing could be improved in aspects, but it's a little too late for that. But it's okay. You know, it's, it's we're working on it, we're improving, and I already have an idea on how to better approach the writing in the next project. Uh, so goodbye. Uh, enjoy life. Thank you for watching and, you know, don't die. Thanks.